So to start our pop art portraits, the very first thing we're going to do is transfer the photo you took of yourself um, to just a blank piece of white paper. That way it is a little easier to draw uh, the outlines and all the major parts of our face that we want to get drawn onto the paper. Uh, so the easiest thing we're going to do to start is just take your picture and a pencil and we're going to do what's called a rubbing. So the rubbing, instead of using your pencil like you were writing, you're gonna hold it on its side and you are just going to this down and create a nice dark shading area across the entire back of your photo. Okay, once you have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. And we want to get it put on our paper so that it stays relatively still for us. So I try to center it. I always know there's gonna be a little extra space at the bottom and that's okay for what we're doing. So I go ahead and put just a couple pieces of masking tape on the top just to make sure that the photo doesn't move, it stays in place as we're going about doing the transfer. Okay. Now, to complete the transfer, what you're going to do is simply outline the entire portrait first. And I'm not pushing super hard, but I do want to make sure that I push hard enough so that the image will show up as I finish. I tend to go ahead and outline the entire outside first, and you're gonna notice your paper cuts off some. You can just go ahead and push all the way to the edge. We will go ahead and move that or make that mark go to the end of the page when we get to it. The same thing on this side. Just going to go ahead and push off, kind of finish off those edges. So I did the overall outline. Now I'm going to go back, make sure I've outlined where my face is. If you are like me and have glasses, I want to push and get those glasses in there in the frame. Outline of the face. And once we get those out, those major outlines done, we can go back and look at details. Now, just to check, make sure it is working correctly. If you pull it up, every once in a while, you'll notice you'll start to see that transfer taking place. If you are not noticing much of a transfer, you may want to consider pushing a little harder with your pencil. You know, the paper may want to move on you. Just be aware that that's happening. I, right now, am going through and just adding a few little details. Any major contour lines I'm seeing that I want to show up, I'm adding those in. And you want to try to draw big things like eyebrows, eyes, that you notice um, as shapes. I'm not really worried about shading things in right now. I want to get the overall 
contours and shapes of the face, not necessarily every little detail. I got. It's not terrible. Okay. When you get the image the way you want it and you like it, I need to do the inside of my glasses, I think. That's better. All right. Once you get the overall transfer completed, you're going to take that initial photograph off of your page. And now we've got that transfer image. Your job is to go ahead and take a Sharpie and trace over those outlines. Now this is the time where if you did make a mistake and you need to make any corrections, you can correct it with a pencil first or with the Sharpie directly. Also, you'll notice some of the areas like down here, my transfer did not completely go to the bottom of the page. So I am just making that adjustment and taking it to the bottom myself. You can also make adjustments, like if you didn't like the way your jawline or something came out, you can soften it a little bit as you go. Alright, we're going to go ahead and trace the rest of this so that it is ready for coloring in this class. Once you've traced your image and you've transferred it, uh, the next step is to take your Sharpie and go ahead and try to create some areas that have thicker, dark lines to create some bold contrast, uh, just like Roy Lichtenstein does in his examples uh, of pop art that we looked at in the video. Uh, so for example, on mine here, all the lines are pretty much the same size, the same consistency. So if I'm gonna make it more comic-like, I might want to come in and really thicken up some of those lines so that I'm creating contrast. So for example, I'm going to thicken up parts of my shirt, maybe even connect some of those parts. Create some areas that are thinner. Let's see, I don't think I'm going to add too much thickness to my face itself, but I might come in and do like some eyebrows thicker. Create some areas of hair that didn't get as thick as I probably wanted. So basically, you're just taking your portrait and making it more comic-like. Now, the last thing you're going to add once you finish this step and have created thicker lines for parts of your portrait, last step is simply to add a word bubble. Now, your word bubble can say whatever you would like it to say. So, for instance, mine, I may just want to put my name, or I may want to put art. Word bubbles it can be an actual bubble. Uh, you can also do like a POW symbol, kind of like how comic book style does, which I'm going to do here. And in the handout you guys received, you'll have some different types of word bubbles uh, for you to look at and use. In the word bubble, go ahead and write, and you can use a pencil first. You don't have to go with Sharpie. Write whatever comic word it is that you've chosen whether it's your name, 
a word you want to emphasize that tells about yourself, because remember it is a portrait, uh, but you're gonna write that word inside in either block or bubble letters. Do not go ahead and fill that in yet. We're gonna leave it till next class uh, when we talk about coloring these and then you can kind of decide, do you want to add more color? Do you want to leave it the way it is? It is up to you. All right, guys, get to creating. I'm going to work on finishing up comic style on my portrait.